What's up guys, my name is Luke from Archer Woods, Style Consultancy and Pre-Owned Menswear Store. So today we're going to do a bit of a deep dive into the style progression, the journey, the glow up of Arctic Monkeys from man Alex Turner. So this is one I've been really looking forward to because Alex is about my age. He's a year older than me. So I've sort of followed him since the Arctic Monkeys sort of like came onto the scene. His style progression has varied quite a lot. Like most of us, he's had different phases. You can definitely see different influences and heavily on the music side as well, the influences that's had to his style, the clothes he wears. Also coming from that sort of, that sort of 2000s rock era, the style then was very uh, interesting. And I think he, he's come off quite well. His style has definitely matured for the years to where he is now, which is right up my street. And I think I've kind of liked most of it. So what we'll do, we'll start off at the very beginnings of what we know him when he first became sort of like famous. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. We're, here we have him right at the beginning with that kind of choppy mod cut, the kind of thing like Paul Weller would have, uh, Liam Gallagher, of course, as well. And that was quite a signature thing for him also. He wasn't particularly known for his fashion from what I remember back then. It was just an indie style, skinny t-shirts, skinny jeans eventually. Um, and that lasted quite a long period of time. Like I definitely remember when you'd see him a lot more when he had his relationship with Alexa Chung and he would be more into that sort of like fashion-y crowd, that sort of like young it crowd. And yeah, I mean, look, a lot of his, lot of his style back then was what we were all kind of like wearing either like vintage t-shirts um it was like pea coats dirty converse or dirty trainers uh skinny jeans of course and like maybe some band tees or something like that that was kind of the the look back then uh he eventually did grow his hair out quite long and yeah i mean the style didn't really change it was a very indie rock aesthetic um pretty simple but he did it well and I, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, well, I don't really remember him being like super stylish. Uh, there was definitely a few photos I quite liked. I consider I never got that haircut, that uh, sort of more choppy haircut. I was very close once or twice. Um, but there was definitely one photo I remember looking at and being like, do I want to get this? It was this one with him in the green jacket here. Cause that, he looks, he looks good in that one. Like the jacket is cool. He, he, there's a few images of him in these sort of like military jackets, which I quite liked from that from that period of his. Um, but yeah, very off its time. It's what it is. There is a photo of his uh, where he's compared, where he's wearing a suit. I can't remember if it's for an award show. It's around about this sort of time. It looks, it looks a nice suit. Like it looks a very passable suit for today. Um, slim, but not. It wasn't skinny. You'd expect it to be more skinny. But it was like black t-shirt, grey suit. Um, and yeah, they compared it to his, one of his more recent looks. And yeah, I mean, it held it held up. It held up quite well. Hair is a very signifying thing with Alex and his sort of style progression. You can tell he likes to experiment. You, you can tell he likes to play around with the clothes he wears. He's very, he, he enjoys dressing up or experimenting and expressing himself through the clothes and his haircut. Um, so you can see there is a progression each time. There's something different. He adds a haircut, it changes his style. So in my mind, he, the Arctic sort of disappeared for a period of time, just because maybe I moved out of sort of like indie, um, that indie phase and the last shadow puppets came about. So Miles Kane, which who is banging to his fashion as well, who's like super, who's like really good mates with Alex Turner. They started that band and I think he had, Miles had a big impression on Alex in terms of the stuff he wore because it was much more moddy. Um, Miles Kane's, yeah, style is way more of a mod sort of style, suits, uh, a bit of a rockabilly style as well for that period of time. And you definitely see that with this leap forward in time. Like we, we jump forward quite a fair bit. So he's a bit older. Um, he seems to feel it out like a little bit more, still a slim guy, but he's gone for this real slick, Greaser sort of look, greasy hair, gelled sort of rockabilly, even it's slicked back, always got the quiff. So this is about 2015, I want to say. Um, still wearing at, at times sort of like denim, leather jackets, to say like a very rockabilly sort of style, but also moving into these sort of like suits, which are very like 50s style as well. And you can see here like him and, and Miles almost matching up their, their style as well, matching up the way they dress. 
but they're, they're having fun it's a very it's a it's a good style i think it definitely plays a part in his evolution of where he's coming to there's a few uh images here so we've got this one where he's got i think i think he's got jeans i can't really see from this image on my screen but it's like jeans big belt buckle a structured jacket and a white shirt so this if we'll see later is the beginnings of where he'd go with his sort of tailoring um say this is 2015 you can definitely tell it's it has little feelings of that like the it's it's like close but not quite there because at that time that's where menswear was we were in a kind of like hashtag menswear sort of phase of dressing with tailoring anyway it's very different to what it is now the pels are different the structure of suits were different so it's much a bit more skinny here the rise of the trousers was mid to low as well and obviously the big belt buckle as well which is not not something for me but at the time definitely um would look good his hair looks great uh, I do like the fact that he switches between the sorts of the suits and then the casual sort of like leather jackets, rock star kind of look. Sunglasses uh, always on point as well. It's great with those sort of like uh, aviatory style sunglasses. You can tell he really cares about the way he presents himself. Like he really looks after himself. Uh, the coat he looks, even though sometimes he's wearing more sort of like a grunge indie grungy sort of aesthetic. Everything's clean. The leather jacket's clean. The jeans aren't scuffed up. The sh the boots now more than trainers are again not scuffed not grungy in any way the wash of the denims cleanish so and obviously he's clean shaven the gelled hair as well it's it's a cleaner look altogether and that's a huge progression forward that's just like coming of age growing up moving into his third chapter which is his more recent chapter which is more to 70s so still massive massive influence with miles kane they've moved forward together their styles come, come together uh, and grown that little bit more high waist. I, I would probably do a video on Miles separately because he's he's quite interesting. He, um, there's a good few videos on GQ with, with his and his style. Where it's a bit wacky, a lot of patterns like leopard print patterns in his loafers. And but that yeah, I'll do do a separate video on that. With Alex, he's moved yeah more into a 70s sort of style, more into sort of Serge Gainsbourg sort, sort of style, a Jack Dutronc sort of style. Um, Husbands Paris is a brand that do that now as a modern uh, brand and tailors they're a Parisian brand you do this aesthetic to a T strong shoulders long jackets high-waisted trousers now still very slim um, the shirt also uh, with like a big collar maybe maybe even a flared trouser as well and like some Cuban heel boots the so we've got a similar sort of look here where he's on the stage he's got as I say like a thinner belt no big belt buckle uh, got I think jeans on these are like flare jeans white crisp white uh, big collared shirt and you see the size those lapels on that blazer the structure of the jacket it's very different to one that we saw him a few years back where it just it was close but it just wasn't there because the details weren't there the shoulders were strong but not as sharp as they would be in this more recent one the lapels but again I'm bad in that one but it just not um, hasn't got the same structure hasn't got the same sort of um, has it got the same silhouette to it in that, that sort of sense he's got his sort of mid to long flowy locks on him as well very similar to Nicolas Gabbard the owner of that husband's Paris brand as well in his more casual stuff he's got sort of looser shirts rather than like skinny slim shirts opened up to three or four buttons opened again high waisted trousers sometimes with like a deep V neck jumper again all this very 70s moving on from that sort of 50s 60s rockabilly movie he's almost moving through the ages as well and moving away from his sort of leather jacket years as well so everything's either this sort of like high-waisted jeans slim but not skinny looser shirts very flowy still very sort of like rock and roll uh, but a lot of the time in tailoring strong shoulders big lapels high-waisted trousers uh, and that's a great look sometimes with some loafers as well i know we're in, the, we're in this sort of modern era of his uh, but this is definitely my favorite the hair looks on point as well he looks like he really enjoys wearing his clothes and it's made for him he's got a slim physique as well he, he looks um like he's grown up a lot and he's, he's, his style has definitely evolved to um one of the most stylish men out there at the moment i'd say definitely and underrated like i know he is he is not not known for it but i don't see his name touted around that much for like the most stylish guy but yeah big fan as I say, if you are interested in 
emulating this more recent look i would say husband's is the first point called very expensive we do have a blazer of theirs on the store actually we do have a couple of pieces that there's a store we've got a blazer which is a gray sort of check really cool blazer and um, some high-waisted trousers as well so check out archerwoods.com for that other than that what i would advise is look vintage um so you can get some sort of 70s tailoring and then take it to a tailor's itself and have some adjustments made to it because sometimes they can be a bit boxy in areas uh so yeah have it fitted to you you can get really good results that way so yeah looking back at his sort of style evolution it's one i'm really familiar with because as i say we're the same sort of age um he went from this sort of like indie sort of style which i was definitely wearing at the time instead of a rockabilly stage i had a more sort of like um bright colors ripped jeans baggy jeans sort of era uh definitely one i'd want to forget and think like where he is now is like definitely uh, an element of what i love and have in my sort of in my wardrobe for sure and stuff i'm very envious of as well so big big fan of his style um underrated in fact and his hair as well i mean i'm pretty jealous of the hair that's my look into Alex Turner's style. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there anyone else you want me to have a look through? Drop a, drop a name in the comments. Uh, do check out our store, archmoves.com, for pre air menswear uh, as well. Also, if you are interested in style consultancy or personal styling at all, um, archmoves.com for that. All the details are there. I do anything from like a one hour ad hoc online session to a full in person wardrobe overhaul so uh, yeah get in touch if you have any questions about that but yeah thanks for watching do like and subscribe because it really helps me grow the store and the channel and i look forward to hearing from you soon cheers